Hello, welcome back to English with Chris. Today we're looking at the idiom upper hand. Upper hand. If someone has an advantage over someone else, he or she has the upper hand. So this one's used very often. Um, if we're talking about the job market, for example, let's say you've got lots and lots of experience. But someone else does not have so much experience. You could then say that you have the upper hand. We can also use this if we're talking about games or something um, less formal, where maybe you're playing cards and you've got a really, really, really good hand, um, and the other person doesn't really have much chance of winning. You could say again, you've got the upper hand. If we look at our example here, John is more experienced and well respected, so he had the upper hand in the argument. This can be quite frustrating. So maybe you're in the right, um, but the person with whom you're arguing is well respected, or they've got more experience, so they automatically have the upper hand. It's more likely someone's going to believe them. Them, you. So they have the upper hand in the argument. Okay, I hope you like this idiom.、Um, if you like this this sort of style, let me know.、Uh, leave a like or comment, etc.、Um, it would be good to see you try to use this in a sentence of your own. So if you could write、um, in the comments below, and、uh, I'll let you know how you do. <laughs> Okay. Well, anyway,、uh, nice to see you all again. Take care. All the best, and bye for now. Bye bye.